Hello YouTube, it's Zyga and I'm back with another video. And in this video, this I would say is a follow-up to my last video, but it's not really like a follow-up. Um, I guess it's more like a, uh, what is it called, uh, a prequel. There we go. Because in order to do what I showed you in the last video, you kind of got to know what to do. I'm going to gotta know how to do what I'm going to show you in this video in the next few videos. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up MCP with mod loader installed to your um or with mod loader installed and set it up with Eclipse. If I can uh you know speak today. Can't seem to ever speak. Alrighty, so you just want to go over to your friendly web browser and just leave that open. Well, actually, you're going to download MCP. I already have it downloaded, but this link right here will be in the description. And you're going to want to scroll down to you see 1.7.3 right here, and then version three or 4.3. So you're going to want to download that. So I'll have the link to this site and the direct download link in the description. Like I said, I already have it downloaded. Yours will look a little different from mine just because I've changed mine a little bit, but it's still pretty much the same exact thing. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of this. I'm going to go into my demo folder right here and I'm going to move all of these over into here. Um, sorry about my dog barking in the background. Uh, people are probably home now. Figures as I decide to start recording that everybody gets home. You know, is what it is though. So after you move that over there, go ahead and close this out. Now what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to press Windows key R to open up run. You're going to type percent sign app data percent sign, not in sign and then hit OK. So now you'll go to your .minecraft. You want to grab your bin and your resources folder, copy those, and put them right here. So while that copies over, you know, there's a few things that you're going to want to grab, which you don't necessarily have to do until after it's done copying, which is what I will do. that all copied over you can go ahead and close your dot minecraft now what you're going to do is you go into your bin folder now unless you already have a clean beta 1.7.3 jar here um you're going to want to delete these and um also delete world edit if you happen to have world edit there so we want to go to a website called mcversions.net this link will also be in the description, as well as the direct download to the jar. So you click client jar. Take a second, it'll probably ask you if you want to keep it or discard it. Oh, tick tock, tick tock, you know, it takes a minute to download. Also, it depends on like your computer and your internet. I don't have the best internet, I don't have the best computer, so. Go ahead and drag that over here. Now, just so that we always have like a clean jar already here, I'm going to copy it and then I will rename it Minecraft. Then you're good in that area. Now you're going to want to go back. Now you don't necessarily have to have the server jar in here. So for right now, we're not going to worry about the server jar. We're just going to worry about this have that. Oh, one moment before we continue. If you do have the beta 1.7 server jar, you just put it right here, like in here. You don't need to put it in any special folder or anything. You just put it right here. Name it Minecraft underscore server dot jar, all lowercase, and then bam, you're good. So after we've done that, go go ahead and decompile. Decompiling will take a minute. The decompiling is really easy, so I will come back to you when it is finished. 
Alrighty, so once it is finished decompiling, what you're going to do is, you know, just press any key, Shazam, and then you can click off of that, do whatever. You'll want to get a thing called Eclipse. So just open up your favorite Google and, uh, or when I say favorite Google, favorite web browser, Google Eclipse. And you'll want to go over here to download. And bam, download it. Easy as that. Install it. Yada yada. I already have it installed and I actually have it pinned to my toolbar. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So I uh, got to wait for that opened up. Um, once again, this is kind of one of those things that depends on your computer um, as to uh, how quickly it will open. In my experience, Eclipse takes a minute. So, but that's all right. You know, I really like modding, so waiting a minute, you can live with that. I've been um, thinking about getting a, a uh, HD PVR. Uh, I had one for a little bit, but I sold it to my brother just because he ultimately uses it more than I do. And uh, I sold it to him. But I've been thinking about getting another one. That way I can start recording other games and stuff again. Alright, so once you have Eclipse open, your Eclipse will look different from mine. But the idea is the same. So there's going to be a little browse button. So click browse. And then you're going to want to find your folder where your MCP is. Mine is in tutorials, then demo. So once I'm in this demo folder, which is my MCP folder, I'm going to go down here to SRC, and I'm going to click on SRC, and I'm going to click OK, and then launch. This will take a minute to open up, especially for the first time. So I'm going to cut back to you once it is all opened up and everything. So I will see you in a minute. Alrighty, so now that Eclipse is open, yours will look different from mine. Yours will probably be all white, because I have a uh, dark theme on because I like the dark themes on stuff. So go ahead and exit out that little welcome thing. You don't need that. So over here in Project Explorer, go go down here into this box. Go right click, hit new, project. Go ahead and click on Java project, hit next. And then type in Minecraft, and then finish. That will take a second to load and a pop-up will come up be like open perspective something something just go ahead and open it everything will be fine setting build paths open yep then it will take another second loading 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 all right now that it's loaded you're probably going to get some errors yep so say it's pretty much like guaranteed that you'll get at least one error. If you don't, I'll be surprised. So you go ahead and right click on the Minecraft package. Um, okay, there we go. Go down to properties. Go to Java build path. Click on libraries. Hit add external jars. Now we're going to go to wherever our MCP folder is. So I'm just going to search up tutorials and then do demo and then I'm going to go over here to jars and then bin. So what I like to do first is I like to go into natives and then copy the pathway. Copy. Then back and add these four jars. And once they're added, you're going to want to do, you're going to want to open the drop down menu for only the top three. So drop down, drop down, drop down. Right here where it says native library location for all three of these, we will go ahead and double click, paste the native's pathway, hit OK. And then do that for all three. And then apply and close. And it will take a second to correct any errors. Um, I did just realize that I didn't install mod loader. 
before decompiling. But basically, you just do the same exact thing, except before you decompile, you open up the Minecraft.jar, you drag all the mod loader files into the Minecraft.jar, make sure you delete metainf, you close it, and then you decompile, and then you do this. Um, simple, easy. You can follow the same exact thing if you need to know how to install a mod or mod loader into a jar. Um, not to be mean, but if you don't know how to do that, maybe you shouldn't be trying to make mods. That's all I gotta say. So, after you've done that, got everything, everything's good, so here's all the files and stuff, and you can edit them. Now, I'm gonna also show you how to actually run the game, because if you just click this, there's, there's nothing here. So you go up here to the Run tab, go to Run Configurations, go down here to Java Application, right click, hit New, just name this Minecraft, and then over here where it says Main Class, hit Search. You want to have make sure this top one is selected, hit OK. run after you apply because if you don't it will not save the setting so yada yada it's opening up so bam I have minecraft running through eclipse so close that now you can just click this button and it will run easy as that so if you if you found this tutorial helpful in any way please leave a like and a comment and even subscribe if you aren't already. I'd really appreciate it and thank you.